Hello, Billy Reeves here. Welcome to the K-Scope podcast, I trust and hope you're well. In this episode, brand new music from Clone, brand new music from Giancarlo Era, an extended chat with Bruce Sword about the Sword Sessions and many other things, some Osric tentacles and Daniel Tompkins, Jordan Bethany, Randy Slaw, Keshav Dar and Mac Christensen, collectively White Moth, Black Butterfly. Stuck here as the night is creeping Trying to keep alive the things I'm seeing Caught here while the world is sleeping And to think all of the years go by I know for me I can make it to the light I know for me You know the air is dry Caught out in the sea but the words won't fall right And now it's like a ghost town left with is the present we realize how much we take for granted white moth a black butterfly that's the single the dreamer from the forthcoming album the cost of dreaming out on kscope on the 28th of may the video for that is on the kscope channels and there's an album teaser to watch and listen to as well the pineapple thief the sword sessions volumes one to four has the full four cd book set treatment out right now. Before we speak uh, to Bruce, this from said set is Willow Tree. Nine years ago we were all dressed to go on with our lives with a burning inside us this willow tree that you gave to me We left to die in the sun When the rains would not come Cause it's our long way to come To regret Yeah, it's a long way to come Look at me now as we fathom out how we survived The onslaught that the ages have wrought And this willow tree that you gave to me It survives and remains 
through the wind and the rain Cause it's a long way to come To regret Yeah, it's a long way to come To regret Yeah, it's a long way to come yeah, it's a long way to Pineapple Thief Willow Tree. Now you may have seen on Bruce's social media him unpacking this sumptuous four CD uh, book set. But if you had watched the sessions, uh, you will note that it wasn't in his normal attic studio. I certainly did. So I asked him where he was when he did it. Is it no? It's my new studio. It's a quite a big commute. It's about thirty seconds. Right. So is it in the garden then? It is. It's at the bottom of my garden. So it's really nice. I'm looking out now. The sun's shining. And, you know, I see my little daughter running around as I'm making rock history. So it's, it's, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for more, really. But, yes, yeah, so after 16 years in my attic <gasps> studio, I tell you, it took a long time to clear everything. I found all kinds of insect stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as I was getting out there. But, um, yes, yeah, so, so quite aptly, the sword sessions was the last thing I did. Up there. So, okay, so what's the give us give us the fans the nod then? What is the name of the first song that was written in the new studio, the Shedio? Well, the, the trouble is, as uh, everything's got um, working titles, so they just got stupid titles. But I think the I'm just looking at I'm just opening my folder and the first. So the first, let me just go because I'm writing for my new solo, uh-huh. so my third solo album. Yeah, so it was. The, do you remember um, when lockdowns were getting eased? They, the, the the papers called it Happy Monday and Magic Monday and things like that. Yeah, so I've, I've at the moment it's called Happy Monday. Right. Okay. Obviously, it's not it's not going to be called that because I might get you know some litigation. <laughs> it's um yeah it's small. Well, it's it's smaller than my attic, but it's easier because it hasn't got the sloping roof so I, I have actually got feels like I've got more space but what I was able to do because funny enough my I, the um my next door neighbor is a builder and um I've and he, so I gave him the spec 
of, of what I wanted, you know, all soundproofed. And I've got speakers in my ceiling so I can do Dolby Atmos in here, which is basically basically just sur surround sound, but it flies over your head. So you've got seven speakers on the, the ground floor around your ears. So there's two, there's the normal two at the front, your dialogue speaker in the middle, two on either side of, of the room and then two at the back of the room. So that's seven. Then the one is your subwoofer where all the chunky bass goes. And then the four, oh, there's four speakers at the top. And then, so now you've got a true 3D room where you can just move things and swirl them around. I mean, it's really, it's designed for, they designed it for, for theater. So, you know, when spaceships are flying around, you can feel them whizzing around. But, in, but now they're really keen um, to, to get the music. Um, so I was on, I, was, I had a video conference with the guys from Dolby last week, getting it all, getting myself all set up. But yeah, I saw Stephen Wilson did it. He set he set himself up for Atmos. So I said, right, that's it. I'm doing it too. No, no, anything anything Wilson did because you need some of that sweet sweet Wilson action on the side, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sweet, lay lay those lay those master tapes on me. Now, well, um, the yeah, we're talking um, the sword sessions, the box set, the full nine yards, um, the book set, and all that stuff. Now we've spoken about how you did it when it was uh, released on vinyl. So I want to talk about, if you don't mind, some of the tracks, some of your favourite tracks on it. Yeah. See if we can get you to announce them. So I'm going so to... Uh, this is basically a quiz about your own record now. So uh, Yeah, go on then. So, Rick, what was the... I'm nervous. What's the, no, well, you should be. You should be. You, know, you, should, be on, you should be on your metal, Brace. Um, what's right, the, come on. What is the most, out of everything on all of it... What's actually the most obscure track, the track that hardly ever gets played? That... Yes, yeah, so, so, so volume one was all the ones that, so, that, I, that I'm quite comfortable with. And then I did a, did a, um, a request set. So there was, um, but actually, let me look. So oh, I'll I tell you what, a, a loneliness, I think. Um, I've never, ever played that. And... Um, and I just remember lots of people want, requested it, and then I and it's one of my favourite tracks off that off that record. Really minimalist, and it worked really well on its own. Although I did the first time I did it, I did an almighty calamity. And um, but yeah, so I had to start it again. Tell me where we go from here. I look at you, eyes wide with fear. Moments fade, we are lost, but this moment stays. Don't look at me and tell me that our seasons passed are simply that. I took you to this darkened place, and now it's going up in flames. up in flames and now I'm taking you away I tell you where we go from here I tell you where we go from here all of our moments up in flames and now I'm taking you away I think when when we're allowed out again, pe people are going to flock to live venues, and and that will be that's I don't hopefully that's not going to change. But I think part of the touring cycle, 
they people bands will start to think well actually we're going to maybe let's do two nights here and record record a show that we can stream to all the you know the corners of the globe where you know people are listening i remember when i did my sword sessions and i you know people were like commenting like live and i said oh i'm loving it from perth in australia it's 5 a.m and you know and you think well we're never going to go to perth i wouldn't have thought we've given up trying to predict this time last year we all thought oh well you know we might actually get to tour in the in the autumn when this all goes away but we're the uh, forever the optimists we're seeing if you know the vaccine maybe you know what's happened in israel at the moment it's all it, it's opened up and things are looking good so we, we we you never know we might still get to tour um europe in in the autumn um if not we're going to tour as soon as we can um and at the moment in the studio i'm just thinking actually in this lockdown year i've probably been busier than i've ever been with the you know the four cd sword sessions the, the versions of the truth album came out we've done this live stream um so now i'm working on a my new solo record so that's what i'm doing right now um and then we're going to get cracking on some more pineapple thief yeah, like- you know so i think that's great i think that's absolutely brilliant yeah let's finish with a long one from the sword sessions then what was one of the longer pieces that you were a little bit concerned may go on a little bit too much i mean there was a few of those you know that was uh, that's a a moody one let's finish with a with a long and pick uh pick a an extended the pineapple thief classic for us to finish with well white mist White Mist is a long one, and um, uh, I remember I remember that session because I was I was really flying by the seat of my pants because I'd announced these things, and then I then I'd, I'd think God, I've got to figure out how I'm going to play these. So a lot of them, I kind of just had an idea of what I was going to do. So I said, right, I'll loop that bit, and then I'll jam over it, and then I'll see where it goes and try and get to the end. And that's what White Mist was. That's what it was like. So I started it, and then a little voice in my head was going, "Bruce, Bruce, where are you going? What are you going to do? How are you going to get? Th- how are you going to get to the end of this song?" And I'm, I don't know, I don't know. So uh, yeah, it was. But I think that was the, what I really enjoyed. When I listened back to it, that's what I really enjoyed that, that, that sort of sense of improvisation. And it didn't matter if occasionally you went slightly off piste. It was just it just gave it that it gave it that real nice vibe that um, that I've that I've learned a lot from. Um, going forward with the studio work I'm doing now is to bring bring that that bring that spontaneity and improvisation back into the polished studio setup well thank you very much indeed for allowing me to interrupt uh, the that's record. all right you're next uh, always record. a pleasure oh, thank you very much I think you hold the record Bruce I think it quite cons- uh, to the um the person who's been on the K-Scope podcast the most time. Is that the highlight of your career, do you think? Well, I think it is. It has to be, Billy. It really does. I mean, I, I think it's because I, I probably can class myself as a veteran <laughs> of the label. <laughs>
Pineapple Thief from the Sword Sessions, Volumes 1 to 4, White Mist, and before that you heard A Loneliness. And my thanks to Bruce, and hopefully we shall speak to Bruce in the flesh shortly. Osric Tentacles up next from the 6 CD earbook, based on the Vitamin Enhanced Cassette album series. This is the remastered version of Shards of Ice.
one and only Osric Tentacles. From Vitamin Enhanced, the six CD earbook out now, beautiful both visually and orally. That is entitled Shards of Ice. And some news, there's loads of great new music and big name reissues coming up on K-Scope later this year. I'm delighted uh, to tell you Clone Alive, a brand new live album recorded in 2016 and 2019 by the mighty French art proggers. Look out for the silver vinyl. It's also going to be available on black vinyl and CD. That's out on the 11th of June. Here's a teaser for you. You may have seen news of the new signing Trifecta Beggs, Holzman and Blundell from Stephen Wilson's band have worked up the material that they were working on whilst touring with Stephen Wilson and their album will be out on K-Scope in August and there will be an interview with Daniel Tompkins and Jordan Bethany from White Moth Black Butterfly in the next K-Scope podcast and some tracks from the LP The Cost of Dreaming. Do a please keep listening, share the podcast, liking, commenting, subscribing where you find it. It's uh, most useful. Tell all your friends. And now, finally, do please uh, settle down in your favourite chair for the new single from Giancarlo Era. As he sets up his spellbinding new album, Departure Tapes, coming out on K-Scope on July the 2nd, this is the single, Departure Tape, tonight. 